Hey Capricorn, I hope you are doing well. This is going to be a general reading for November 26th through the 30th. Um, any information you need, Capricorn, you can find it in the description box down below. I do have personals open right now. It is a three question video reading. It's 2828. You get it within 48 hours. This does close tonight though, Monday, uh, November 25th. I keep wanting to say like the 28th and December and I don't know what's going on. That's a mess, but it does close tonight, Monday. November 25th at 11 p.m. Eastern Time. So everything is down there if you are interested, Capricorn. But we are going to go ahead and begin. Like I said, this is for the rest of November, November 26th through the 30th, okay? So we have here for Capricorn. All right. <clears throat> Someone here might have um, a Venus in Aquarius or in Cancer. You may have Aries or Pisces in uh, your big three somewhere, but uh, you don't necessarily have to. It's just the energies showing up here, all right? So for tomorrow, you have a weird energy that seems to, like, I don't know. It seems a little disjointed, Capricorn, if I'm being honest. Like, it seems like it's um, kind of off by itself from the rest of the reading because the rest of the reading looks really good, but we have this weird energy showing up for tomorrow. We'll see what's happening with it. Um, five of Swords, Petty Energy, like this can be a card of mental conflict, so don't get me wrong, this could be something that you're like, you don't have clarity on, you know, you could be a little bit confused about something, but it'll often show up for like mind games or Petty Energy, um, literally a phrase that comes with this card is someone who will win at all costs. So, um, we'll see what's happening there, but I don't like it. It's a little, it's a little disturbing. Um, you have the page of pentacles showing up here for Wednesday's energy. So it could be some good news possibly coming on Wednesday surrounding work, money, or business here at Capricorn. Or it's possible that this could be like some conversation between you and a fellow earth sign here. Pages can sometimes represent messengers. Um, they're also the children of the court cards. If you're like out of contact with your child um, or if you've not talked to them in a minute, I feel like there could be some sort of contact happening here. But I will say pages are also the errand runners. So it could be like maybe you're running around getting things done for the holidays and whatnot, like last minute shopping or something of that nature uh, there on Wednesday. Thursday's energy um, looks interesting. You have the two of cups. Could be a decision being made regarding a connection, whether it be friendship, family, romance. Um, you know, you do have this two of cups energy. A heart to heart may take place on Thursday. Um, a decision being made. This could also be like a face to face meeting, you know, so maybe this is you visiting someone or then visiting you for the holiday. You do have the three of wands showing up for Friday's energy. Card of sending something out. It's also a card of foresight. I feel like you're able to you're recognizing a pattern in someone is the energy I get here. But also, I do think that you could be um, like sending blessings or sending good vibes someone's way or they're doing this for you. I do feel like there is like a um, an important conversation happening here for some reason. It's like somebody could be expecting something bad and you're like, okay, um, let me help. I feel like you're sending something to a person. Like that's the best way I can describe that energy here. It seems like there's some sort of help or exchange going on there on Friday. Saturday's energy, you have the Nine of Cups. Some of you, if you are like working through the holidays um, and you celebrate, assuming you celebrate the holidays, you could be doing it on Saturday instead. That could be something that's going on here with the Nine of Cups. Maybe you're doing like a Saturday dinner um, because you know something that I'm drawn to there, Capricorn, is like the table with all the cups on it. And this man, like it's often talked about how he's a lot more plump than the other figures in the cards. So sometimes this can talk about him being well fed. He's got a feast back here, right? So sometimes that can come with the energy of like a dinner, you know, a celebration of some sort, a support system. It does represent wishes being fulfilled. Let's get into it here, Capricorn. Let's see what we've got, okay? What do we have for Capricorn surrounding this spread here? Mm, okay. Yeah, you're getting the energy of family, uh, home, family traditions, things like that. I'm not surprised. You know, like I said, holidays are, are highlighted in these readings here um, for this time frame. You do have the Six of Cups, though. That could be where that heart-to-heart -heart is coming in, especially for those of you who I feel like family, like children and possibly marriages. For those of you who might be separated or some, um, you know, like a strained relationship here with family or a spouse. I feel like there is a big conversation happening about that. Like, how do we work this out, you know? schedules and things like that. So I do think that could be something that's being discussed here, Capricorn. Um, what else do we have going on there? What is that? King of Cups. 
Um, you know, when it comes to King of Cups, he's very emotionally mature. And I, so I do feel like this is something that's going to go well, if that's the case here. For some reason, this energy, um, you know, was pulling me towards the Two of Cups. So I feel like that does have to do with um, the holiday. I feel like that has to do with Thursday. Um, you know, King of Cups energy is like the ebb and flow of things as well. He's someone who can adjust and adapt really well. So I do feel like you end up sorting something out, figuring something out here. You do have this strength card in the Nine of Pentacles. That's interesting. So two nines here, your environment. Yeah, I feel like you're securing something um, here. I feel like you're making plans for Saturday. That's the energy that I get here. You're fixing something up. It doesn't necessarily have to mean that you're like fixing a dinner, but I do feel like there's some kind of gathering here. Like you're taking care of something on Saturday and securing it. Um, and it could, like I said, it could be plans for the future. It's like, this is what I want to do. That could be why you're meeting up with someone here. Um, but I do think you're securing something. Yeah, strength is showing up here, protection, being in a position of power, nine of pentacles present here, self-sufficient. I feel like the energy looks really good for Saturday. What else do we have here for Capricorn? I will say I keep wanting to call you Gemini. I'm not sure why, okay? Queen of Cups is showing up right here. What else is going on here? Yeah, I, I feel like as soon as I pulled that Queen of Cups, I felt like, okay, this is going on that five of swords. I don't know why. I, I've literally never done that in a reading, Capricorn. Like, I feel like this goes here, you know? But whenever I pulled those first cards out, it was like one of them landed near the um, the two of cups. And so I just felt like, you know, we're clarifying two of cups for sure. And then with these energies, it landed down here near the nine. And then when I pulled that queen, I was like, let's start back at the beginning. And there we are with this like deeply disturbing uh, energy here and imagery. Um, we have the Queen of Cups and the Nine of Swords. I feel like there's something going on here where it just seems to me, Capricorn, like there's a sneaky energy, all right? Like a cup has closed, and I almost feel like somebody's a little bit spiteful towards you because you've closed off your cup to them. I think it's their, like, their fault. You know, I feel like they're the reason that you've closed off your cup. You can see them, like, kind of studying it. The open shell here, they're studying the closed cup, but they still feel entitled to it for some reason. They still feel like this is their cup, and it should be open. You got the Nine of Swords here. I feel like this person could be trying to, like, stress you out tomorrow. Um, it's weird. You got Page of Swords showing up right here also. I feel like they're watching you. They're trying to see if you react in a situation, Capricorn. Um, this could be an air sign or a Cancerian. It's like really rubbing me the wrong way. I don't like it. Oh my gosh. Yeah, yeah. I feel like tomorrow brings an end to this situation, though. I feel like it's been going on for a minute, and I feel like tomorrow is going to bring an end to it because I do feel like it's disturbing you. Like, it's disturbing me. <laughs> you have the Knight of Cups here. I do feel like somebody tried to apologize to you about something, and you shut them down. You're like, I don't want to deal with this anymore. You can see he's not really listening to what's being offered here. Some of you, it might be a Pisces. We have the Empress showing up here. I feel like your focus is on you at this time. Some of you, I do feel like you're blocking this person. I think that's what's going on here. I feel like an end is being put to this toxic energy. Um, yeah, I just feel like you're focused on your growth and what you need to do here, Capricorn. What else do we have here for Capricorn? What's going on in that page of Pentacles? The star. Something that you've worked really hard for. You got temperance showing up right here. I feel like there's something that you have worked really hard for. You've gone through the ringer, um, you know, in this energy here, right? So page of Pentacles is showing up. I do think some of you, you could have been skipped over in regards to an opportunity. I feel like that's something that could be changing, Wednesday's energy looks like something really promising is being discussed here. Even if it's not being set in stone just yet, I feel like it's made abundantly clear that you've worked for something and that you do deserve to be next. What's going on with that Three of Wands energy? What's that about? Ace of Cups, Nine of Wands. Yeah, there's some, some of you, I really feel like there's help going on here on Friday. I don't know if somebody's helping you with something or if you're helping them. It's like you're trying to get ahead of an issue is the energy I get here. Nine of Wands is showing up. It's a card of Wounded Warrior. You're seeing that somebody's like fighting through something and, you know, I do think you end up helping them with this um you know six of pentacles energy that we saw there and then the king of pentacles so it's maybe that you're sending someone money you're helping with something here capricorn or they're doing this for you um i just feel as if this allows for an issue to be resolved so something very specific showing up there for friday i do apologize about that but a lot is going on in this reading capricorn um i hope that it was helpful or fun or whatever you needed it to be details are below for anybody who's interested in personals um like i said it's a three question video reading it is um 
28, 28, and you get it within uh, 48 hours. So everything's down there, Capricorn. Of course, only if you're interested. I do want to remind you all that um, due to the holidays coming up, I will be closing out those readings tonight, Monday, uh, November 25th at 11 p.m. Eastern Time. So if you are interested in booking a reading, uh, get your hands on that, okay? Details are in the description box uh, below. But yeah, Capricorn, if this is where we part, I do want to thank you all so much for being here. I really appreciate you, and hopefully I will see you next time. Bye.